Ellen says she got everything. Well, no one knows that for certain. That's why you're gonna have chemotherapy, Monica. You're gonna do all the right things. And the chemotherapy will make certain. You promise me something? Hmm? You will always tell me the truth. You have my word. Besides, you're too great a doctor, Monica, for me to be able to slip anything by you. Uh, you know what we can get away with with a patient that wants to believe. Hey, Nick, come on in. Thank you. How are you feeling, Monica? Well, I've been better. Well, you look sensational, as always. <laughs> You are a liar, but thank you very much. I hear the surgery was a big success. That's great news. Well, we're... We're keeping our fingers crossed. Will you let me know if you need anything, both of you? Thank you, Ned. We will. Well, I don't want to wear you out. I just... I just wanted you to know that I was, uh, I was thinking about you. You're very sweet. Now who's the liar? <laughs> He's what? Whoever referred to this man as being sweet. <laughs> he has his moment. I'll keep in touch. Okay. Thank you. I mean that. I don't bite. <clears throat> I said you're okay. Now your mother's just had major surgery. She's entitled to look pale. I think for May Jay's reaction, pale would be an improvement. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm not very good at this. I suppose if I could handle being around sick people, I... Probably would have been a draw on the medicine, but that's Jason's gig. Oh, well, how is he? Solid as a rock, naturally. Um, he'll be by to see you later. Figured we'd sort of spread it out so it wouldn't overwhelm you. Good thinking. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Honey, come on now. Don't be upset, please. Please. You know, your mother needs some rest, and I could use some breakfast. You want to come with me and get something to eat? Yeah. Do that, AJ. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Are you sure you don't mind? No, I don't. And your father's right. I am. I am exhausted. What were you thinking to allow her to see you react that way? What are you, so self-absorbed you can't control your emotions for five minutes to give us some peace of mind? She's my mother. Look, I, maybe you could be unemotional about this, but I can't. What about this? I love her. I'm not afraid to show it. Why don't you show it with some degree of tact? Oh, I see. I see. If I show my emotions, I'm considerate. And if I don't, then I'm selfish and uncaring. There's just no winning with you, is there? But you know what? Frankly, I'm not here to please you. Just stay on my back. You're resting. Uh, there's not very much else I can do in this position. Come in, Amber. These are, uh, these are for you. They're from Lila's garden. Beautiful. Well, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of like having a little bit of home right here in the room. Are you sure that's good for you? I wouldn't want to contribute any unnecessary stress to your recovery. No, perfect. Just, just, you can put them down there and the nurse will get them. Where's, it, where, where's Lila? Oh, she'll be up after a while. Guess what she's doing? She's at the nursery. 
It's so funny. She can't come to this hospital without first stopping to see newborn babies. She swears that it prepares her for whatever she has to face next. Although, we've been assured that the news is only good for your concern. Well, that's... that's what they tell me. My dear daughter-in-law, a woman with your backbone and certainly your style engenders nothing but confidence. I feel certain that you will stare this monster in the face and defeat it. Now, really, Monica, you must promise me that. What an astonishing thing to say. Well, um, nonsense. In spite of our occasional disharmony, surely you must recognize the, uh, the high regard I have for you. I would like to think that. Oh, bosh. Just because I don't shout it at every opportunity doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Alan and, and I have said that sometimes it takes the prospect of death to figure out what really counts. Well, there is no prospect of death in this situation. I simply won't allow it. Since you always get what you want, I will take comfort in that. That's why I'm here. Now, I know that Alan will take absolute care of you. But where he can't, I shall.